Time now for the morning rush. Students at one West Side school will not see their usual campus security helping students cross the street this year. Students at Tony Hillerman Mid School now have a have to cross at a different intersection. APS says the parents would often have their children cross the busy Rainbow Boulevard. Parents can now reach out to the city to request a crossing guard. Chris. David, let's get a look at that future radar. A few spot showers and storms across the no northern high terrain this afternoon. We'll fast forward this just a couple hours. The best coverage of storms will be across northeastern New Mexico thanks to a backdoor cold front working its way into the state, going to remain dry for most of the state. However, David. Prosecutors could still charge co-conspirators conspirators involved in Jeffrey Epstein's alleged sex trafficking operation. Epstein was found dead from an apparent suicide on Saturday, but prosecutors vowed to continue investigating. On Friday, court documents revealed new allegations of sexual abuse claims against Epstein and several associates. Back here in New Mexico, the Attorney General's office tells the New Mexican that despite Epstein's death, the state will continue to investigate all allegations connected to Epstein's case in the state. Last month, AG Hector Baldetta said that he was in contact with survivors and looking into the alleged sex crimes that took place at Epstein's Zorro Ranch near Stanley. Well, we are waiting to learn more this morning about a crash in northeast Albuquerque that left a man seriously injured. APD says the man was hit by a car near Carlisle and Manal last night. The man is currently in critical condition. Chris. Yeah, David, let's take a look at that Metro Threat Index. It's low today at a 1, and that's because of the warm to hot afternoon temperatures we are going to deal with. But other than that, going to be a really pleasant afternoon for the Metro. David. Well, happening today, the isotopes are going to be teaming up with Vital and Blood Services to support the El Paso shooting victims. Mobile Blood Drive will be held at today's game against the Round Rock Express. Fans who donate blood will receive a ticket voucher for any remaining 2019 topes for the uh, home game for the rest of the year. Donations will begin at 530 when gates open and last throughout the game. Happening today, you can watch the largest and most active meteor shower of the year right from a New Mexico National Monument. White Sands is hosting a viewing party. Park rangers will be on hand with binoculars discussing what's happening. You can head to always on KRQE.com for more information. Well, the gateway into Albuquerque's Barrelas neighborhood is now getting a facelift. It's part of an effort to revitalize the community with meaningful murals. The mural off of 2nd and Cole highlights the unique culture of the neighborhood. It's all taken from real photos provided by the Barrelas Neighborhood Association. There's an availing of the mural today at 1.30. Well, the new restaurant on top of Sandia Peak, 10-3, will open for business this coming Saturday night. The multi-million dollar spot replaces the 60s era restaurant, which was the high finance. Casual dining will be on the east side of the bar and a formal dining room on the west side. The restaurant is already taking reservations. Now for details, you can head to always on krqe.com. New Mexico United, they're heading back home this morning after suffering a loss to the Portland Timbers on the road. United trailed one to nothing at the break and it only got better for Portland in the second half. United did push back though with two points, but that was not enough, making it a final score of three to two. United is going to be now hosting LA at home. It's on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Chris. David, let's get a look at that morning drive out there. Everything looking pretty nice. We have no major reports of any accidents or slowdowns out there. Make sure you give yourself a couple extra minutes to get to where you're going. It's the first day back to school, so a lot of kids going to be out and about. You're taking a live look at the big eye. All the traffic flowing really nicely as that sun rises over the 505. David. Well, some kids are starting off the school year right after getting a generous donation for members of the military and their families. Local tech company Raytheon and the Boys and Girls Club have partnered up, not only providing families at Kirtland Air Force Base, Base with school supplies, but also giving kids after school programming in science, tech, engineering, and math. Well, some other students are returning to the classroom this morning, and they're going to be a bit surprised with the new painting and a positive message. Parents and teachers at Inez Elementary painted several inspirational sayings and colorful images inside the boys' and girls' bathrooms. Now, they say they wanted to send a message about school being a safe and comfortable place for the, all the students. The teachers and staff have a painting as well. Time now for the five facts. At number five, some kids on Kirtland Air Force Base are 
getting a generous donation for members of the military and their families. Fill the Pack is a partnership between local uh, tech company and the Boys and Girls Club, giving school supplies to thousands of kids in the military uh, and their families around the country. Uh, each kid received items like notebooks and pens, water bottles and lunch bag. Local tech company Raytheon also created a STEM center uh, of innovation at Kirtland, providing after school programming uh, in science, technology, engineering and math throughout the year for military families. At number four, the gateway into Albuquerque's Barreras neighborhood is now getting a facelift. The Orpheum Community Hub mural off of Second and Cole highlights the unique culture of the Barreras neighborhood. The mural pays homage to the iconic rail yards, film industry, traditional weddings, and more. Now, the artist behind the project says that the goal is to revitalize the historic downtown rail yards and Barreras neighborhoods. Now, there's an unveiling of the mural. It's happening today at 1:30. And at number three, the first day of school for many kids around the state. 63 degrees for that bus stop forecast. Dry out there, really pleasant conditions. Luckily, not dodging any showers or thunderstorms. And at number two, Attorney General Hector Baldetta says that he's going to be continuing to investigate the crimes allegedly committed in the state by Jeffrey Epstein. This after authorities say that the millionaire committed suicide in jail over the weekend in New York. Now, last month, Baldetta said that he was in contact with survivors and looking into the alleged sex crimes at Epstein's Zorro Ranch. This is near Stanley. The AG's office tells the New Mexican that despite Epstein's death, the state will continue to investigate all allegations connected to the Epstein case in the state. And at number one, it is the first day of school for APS students, but parents and students at Tony Hillerman School on the west side, they will not see their usual campus security helping students cross the street. This comes after APS says the parents would often park across the street from the school during pick up and drop off and then have their children cross the busy Rainbow Boulevard. Parents say that they are not happy about that change. Students will now have to cross at the Rainbow and Woodmont intersection or APS says that students can reach out to the city requesting a crossing guard.